Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Giants with the football here as we begin quarter number two. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. To throw is Manning. And Ingram holds it in. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Evan Ingram, 36 yards. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So the football switching hands here in just a second. And, you know, Tom Brady, just to go off on a tangent for a second, may have lost the Super Bowl. But third MVP this past season, and what he did at age 40, really something, right, Charles? Absolutely phenomenal. Ended up beating out Todd Gurley, the running back for the Los Angeles Rams. But he would have traded it for a Super Bowl win, don't you think? How about this? The last nine NFL MVPs to play in the Super Bowl that same season, 0-9. Yeah. Can't go all the way back to Kurt Warner in, what, 1999, where he won the double? We were going over that stat earlier. That is hard to believe. But he would have been the MVP had the Patriots pulled that one out. Yeah, he still has five rings, though, five Super Bowl titles for Brady. 11 yards on the pickup, and that is going to set up a third and one. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. And a loss of three to bring up four. Jason Pierre-Paul first burst on the scene for me, headed towards his draft year. You know what I saw him doing? Like 15, 16 backflips in a row on a YouTube video. Athlete. Absolute athlete. And he uses that agility to slip past guys and make plays in the backfield. Uh, draft year 2010, 15th overall pick. Goff now looks to throw. They got a man. It's Woods. Six yards there on the pickup. And the Rams are going to get a first down. And yes, home is where the heart is. And for Robert Woods, it's Los Angeles. He played college football at USC right here in this stadium. Man, probably feels comfortable out there. He was an All-American as a Trojan in 2011. Yeah, really trained to be an NFL player. I mean, he watched a lot of NFL cut-ups and tapes of wide receivers while he was in college before joining them on this stage. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. Now a handoff here to his running back. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. Throwing on third, gone. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Again, the offense will stay out there. They've converted once on this drive. What can they do here on fourth down? Here's Gaw. Look at this time for Woods, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ross Cockrell. And he will bring it back. 
it's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And yeah, many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do.